So just call it stock for me. This is going to be your card right here. You have the, I'm going to take a look at it, three of spades. So make sure you remember that and we will bury it twice. Now at this point, we really don't even need the cards. We need the balloon. The balloon is what we're going to need. So we're going to take the rest of the cards and put them in here. So let's get rid of these. Close this up and then we can put this off to the side. So that'll go there for a second, and now it's time for me to blow up a balloon. Now when you have your balloon here, we're just gonna take it and see if we can put the deck of cards into the middle of the balloon, just like that. See if I can let a little bit of air out. There we go. So your card is lost somewhere in the deck, which is then in the box, which is now in a balloon. Now here's the fun thing about balloons though. When you blow them up, they tend to just fly away, right? So we're gonna do the same type of thing. So let me get into camera real quick and you'll really see what it's like. Well, it, yeah, so it just kind of, it just kind of blows up. But one fun thing that happens with a balloon is because of that popping power, I can now do this. And pop one card out of an entirely sealed shuffled deck. So now let me show you how it's done. Before I do, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when all my videos come out. So let's take it and just start from the beginning. First, have a selected card. Now when I'm doing this, I'm doing the draw control. So as you can see there, I'm switching these cards here. Now I now have the second card that I'm showing, eight of diamonds, I push it back out, and I do the draw control to the top. But if you want a full tutorial, I'll leave a link to the draw control tutorial in the description. So you have their card controlled to the top, and you're going to palm it off here. So you're just going to take it here and have it palmed off. It's super simple. If you want to know how to palm more in depth, this is not the channel for you quite yet because I haven't posted that video, but it is coming out shortly. So I'll have this here, have this palmed, and you're going to take this and put this back in the box. And just make sure you're taking it here and keeping no bleeds. Like you don't want to be putting it in the box like this because this would look really stupid, them knowing they have a card here, right? Now, after you close up the box, what you're going to want to do is take this card here and place it on the back of the box. Now, it doesn't matter if it's the top, it doesn't matter if it's the bottom, depending on how you put them in the box, as long as you have it here, you close up the box, you put it down, and you flip the box over, then now it's on the bottom like this, and that will leave you set up for the end. Now, take your balloon and blow it up. Now, when it comes to blowing up balloons for this trick, I found that five breaths actually does about the best job but you can experiment with how much air you can go into this. Now clearly the balloon doesn't actually put the deck of cards inside. That can be done for another trick and I can show you that some other time. But for now, we'll just do it this way. So take your deck of cards, make sure when you pick it up you don't flash that bottom card. Just take it here and you're going to place it on, the t on this top of the deck and then you're gonna move up to the top and push down. Now when you're doing that, what you're gonna wanna make sure you do is you move your fingers out of the way and you push down on the outsides to make sure it engulfs it. And let me show you what that looks like. Now you should have something just like this. Now obviously it's not actually in the balloon, it's just wrapped around the balloon like this. So make sure you know where your bleeds are. You can kind of check as you're going and I see this, there's a bleed on this side. So I'll just make sure I don't keep this up too high or I'll make sure I hold my fingers there. But either way, this is not something that's very hard to conceal as long as you're not just like blatantly flipping the deck over. Sorry, I'm trying to get the air out because I'm OCD. Next, you have this here, you have this here. If you want to, you can just make, you can pop it, you can cut it open with a knife. So let's say we do that. Let's say we just grab a quick box cutter and we cut straight through it, making it look like you really did bury this inside the balloon. So you take this off, you can get rid of this as if it was really inside of it, throw it away. Then it, because we just said that it popped, we can now make it look like it pops. So since this is on the underside, if you want to do it, you can have it where it's face down as well, depending on how you palm it off. Now, now when you're doing this, it'll pop face down. So you go one, two, three, and have them count down. You can say pop. When you pop, you just let go with your fingers that are holding it, your thumb and ring finger. You just release with those fingers, and it should drop down. Now you can get rid of your knife, which you probably should have done beforehand. Open up the deck. Make sure this doesn't get mistaken for anything spread out through all the cards that they see. None of them are their card, and one of them is, which is the card that was in there. So if you did like that trick, please make sure to consider subscribing. 
and hitting the notification bell so you can get notified when I put out a new sleight of hand tutorial every single week. If you want to see a specific one, just let me know down in the comments and I can hook that up for you. So if you want to see something like the top palm, like I mentioned in this video, we are top palming this card off like so. There's so many different versions of different palming techniques and sleight of hand moves that I can get into in another time. So let me know down in the comments which one you want to see and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect, signing off.